post-processing volumes can change the way the entire world looks overall. In the Create menu, go to Visual Effects and choose Post-Processing Volume. Inside the New Volumes Details window, you can adjust different color settings, bloom effects, and more. Under the Color Grading setting, enable the Saturation Global property and turn it down a bit. You'll notice that nothing actually happens. That's because the post-process volume only affects the view of players inside of it by default. If you move your camera into the box created by default, you should see a desaturated view of the world. This is a really great way to make different areas distinct from one another with different effects. But if you want to change the entire world, you can search for Unbound and enable this setting. Now, when I leave the post-process volume box, the entire world is still desaturated. There are many more properties other than saturation, and you can check out the documentation online to get a good idea of what they do, or mouse over a property for a quick explanation. A really useful property of post-process volumes is that you can create and add materials to them. Make a new folder called Materials and create a new material called Matte underscore post-process. Under the post-process materials section of the post-process volume, add an array element and choose a newly created material. Nothing will happen since this material doesn't have anything changed on it yet. Open the Material Editor and in the Details window, change the material domain to Post Process, which will enable some special features. If you save and go back to the level, the entire world is now dark, since the material is just emitting the color black. Head back to the Material Editor and add a Scene Texture node. In the Details tab, you can change the Scene Texture to the Post Process Input 0 and then connect this node to the Emissive Color property. Now this world looks normal, but if you head back to the editor and instead of connecting the color property to the material output, drag it off and create a new desaturation node. Then create that emissive color. The preview will now be desaturated using the material instead of the post-process volume. This is incredibly useful since there are many things to do within the material editor, like outline certain objects and more, which you can find in the documentation. In the next lesson, you'll take a look at Sequencer, the tool that lets you create cinematics and other effects in UEFN.